So at the end of the day, I guess I would ask you, you know, even after the fight night, there were a lot of people, you know, who don't want to pay for it. And and I wonder if you know, do you think do you think in any way you were vindicated and Ronda was vindicated just by the way she walked? Um I I I, don't, I never felt the need to be vindicated. You know what I mean? I never felt like I needed to be vindicated. Uh, everybody was saying that the Henderson Machida fight should have been the main event. Right? No. And nothing against those two. <laughs> that would have stunk the place out. Imagine if that was the last fight of the night, people would have left here pissed. You know? You're always gonna have idiots on the internet that say stupid shit. I can tell you what, this thing sold out. It, uh, the gate was bigger than the Cain Velasquez Junior Dos Santos fight. And there's a lot of other figures that I'm working on right now. It, it's gonna end up being the biggest women's pay-per-view of all time. The biggest women's pay-per-view fight ever. I don't know about the gate yet. What is the gate? What I heard is 120,000 bucks. 125,000. Ali Frazier. 125,000 Ali Frazier. Yeah, like 2001, whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's the biggest. This is going to smoke. Smoke. So, um, it's one of the, it's the most successful women's fight of all time. Do you know, uh, some, some people were saying, we were talking the other day about how the most highly made women, and some people say well, if the pay-per-views are doing, I don't care what anybody made, because I've looked at a lot of women's uh, numbers, this is, good. this is probably going to be the biggest purse ever for a woman town. Again, Tina was down here talking to us, uh, and said that he was. I bet he was. Yeah. Uh, he's looking for a New Year's New Year's fight, because of after a free fight deal, I guess. Uh, with the other the, the other organization, and uh, you know, he, he wants it at one forty, even if, even if it's not for a title. And your thoughts on that? No, I have no thoughts on that. It means nothing. She's gonna fight the next girl. Let me tell you what shit's rolling here. Cyborg's not a part of it. You know, they're gonna have as many press conferences as they want to have, or show up to sign with the UFC. She chose not to. This thing's rolling. This thing's moving. So we're already. Where are you going? Yeah. This, was, this is the biggest, the most successful fight ever in the history of women's fighting. Christy Martin, Leila Ali, um, you know, all the girls that have fought, it's a big night for women. Um, you know, like we were talking about before this fight, all these talented women that are out there that are in judo and all these other things, believe me, just like I've always told you guys, when we go into a new market and shit just explodes in these new markets and people start training and that's what's going to happen now in this women's division. This 100, this 135 pound division is going to become pretty nasty pretty quick. Do you think we might get a uh, women's division then out of it if that in fact happens at the world 145 or 125 might come? You know how long it's going to take me to get the world to know the girls that are here now? It takes time to build these divisions. I'm still building these new men's divisions that we started, you know? Cyborg missed the boat. They can, they can fucking do whatever they want to do and play games. You know what I mean? You over negotiate sometimes. You know, I used to be, let me tell you what, I used to be Tito's manager. And the biggest negotiation I ever had for Tito was with Bob Myers. You know how hard it is negotiating with a guy who doesn't give a shit? It's not fun, man. I couldn't sleep for a year doing that deal with Tito and with Bob Myers. And there's a, there comes a point, I always made sure that we were going to get what we wanted, but don't ever over negotiate. They've already over negotiated. They're gone. It's over. You're fighting an evicted, do your thing. Jenny, you said the world isn't going to fucking stop. Nobody even knows who the fuck Cyborg is. She's got 30,000 followers on Twitter. Nobody knows her. You said in the past, though, you think Ronda at some point will want that fight. You know, the yeah, well, then that's different. If Ronda comes, she's the champ. She comes in one day and says, you know what, I've cleaned out this division. I feel like I've fought everybody. I'll move up to 140 and fight her. You know? And if Cyborg's still fighting at that time or whatever goes on, then we'll see what happens. Can you explain the importance of why it is that you feel like you have to develop the division? You said, I need to get this belt defended a few times before I can talk about 141, 145. Why is that? That's, that's the way I am with all the divisions. You get somebody in there who establishes the, uh, the, the, uh, the division and the title, and uh, you build a star. You know? We're in, we're in one of those positions right now. How about this? How about Jose Aldo came out and said, there's no way in hell I'm fighting Pettis. What? Really? He's what? absolutely refusing to fight Pettis. He doesn't think he deserves the shot. So, so who does he think he should fight? What's, what's uh, his? 
Yeah. John, please. What, what's, what's the, what's the name? It means he don't want to fly Pettis. Fucking right, he's not fly Pettis. What are you going to do with Cloud Trash? Where does he go from here? I don't know. I don't know. I like Josh. Nobody else does, but I do. <laughs> Do you consider um, Rashida fighting in her seal? Because he's the only, one of the only ones. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You know, there were a lot of people tonight. I was, you know, again, Twitter and the internet and everything else. But saying, that was the worst decision ever. Come on, give me a break. Let me tell you what. Ed Soros came over to me and goes, I go, what? I don't know. You know? I think Machida won the fight, but let me tell you what, if they called Dan Henderson's name, it wouldn't shock me either. They didn't fight the last three and a half minutes of the fight, they didn't do anything. First round, is, he gets that top position and maybe steals the round. You know, he Sugar Ray Leonard at the end of that round there and maybe took it, right? Second round was close too. Third round sucked. Not, neither one of them should have got a point for the third round, it was terrible. You know, you, you fight fights like that, who knows what's going to happen. The people booing and going crazy like, oh my god, this is a, a disaster. If Dan Henderson would have won, I would have said, man, I can see that too. It wasn't one of those fights that, it's one of those fights that you don't want to fight. And, and stand there at the end with the judge holding your hand wondering which one they're going to race. Dan, stand on the, the, the Pettis thing now. What? What happens now with Alvin? The battle begins. Did, when, when it was announced, did he not agree to it? Um, yeah, well, what happened? Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and then Andre Pedaneras was in England and sat down with me and Lorenzo and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't think he deserves it. What do you mean you don't think he deserves it? Well, he might be the number one guy at 50, but how does that make him a long? Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you serious? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's like if Aldo wanted to move up to 150, 155, we're going to say he's not the number one contender? What are you talking about? Listen, say, I, I, I wouldn't want to fight Pettis either. Did he say who he thinks he is instead? No, just not Pettis. So he just so right now he's absolutely refusing to fight Pettis. So right now is that fight off? No, that fight's on. He's gonna fight Pettis, or he's not gonna like how this is gonna turn out. If you have a fight, this next you get the next woman's fight, you have the Ultimate Fighter finale, Ray's announcing the others. Currently. I'm sorry, ask me that again. You, you, yeah, the next woman's fight at the Ultimate Fighter finale. Um, do you have any other ones, any other female fights to announce? Uh, no, not that I know. Not that I'm aware of. Might, but just not that I don't know. Do you get any kind of a time frame as far as when you want Ronda to fight again, like July, June, September, or whatever? Yeah, no. You know, my, my whole, uh, the way I treated this fight is let's see what happens that night. Let's see how this whole thing goes. and. Uh, what can you do for an encore with her, though, after such a great build? <laughs> well, there's other real tough girls out there, too, for her to fight. So Ron is a star, man. This is whether people want to admit it or not, or people don't like it or not, it's too fucking bad. The girl's a star, man. People love her, and people want to see her. And she's fun to watch fight. I mean, there was no bigger naysayer than me. I was the one. I was like, this ain't going to happen. I was the one who was making that decision. It ain't going to happen here. Better wait till I retire or die. It ain't happening in this in this company. And then I started watching fights, educated myself, and uh, and now I mean there, there's a lot of good women in that division, and there's a lot of good fights for her. Dana, do you have the names of the other women that have been signed to the division? You said that there were ten. They were all here. They were all here. Yeah, they were all over the place tonight. Every one of them were here tonight at the fights. Kat and Sarah McMahon. Yeah. We have Alexis Davis, Ronda Rousey. Liz. John Shelby knows him. Who? Yes. Uh, Sarah? I was curious about the other three or four. She was asking questions. Oh, yeah. I don't know the answer to it, though. Uh, <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean Shelby can answer that question. Great. He knows all of them. That could slide into that slot? No, well, Chael's going to fight Jones, right? But she is the guy. She is number one. Yeah. Uh, Gustafsson's going to fight in Sweden, and then you know we're, we're a little backed up right now because of the Ultimate Fighter. We know how this happens, you know. But uh, Jones will fight that fight. He'll fight the Cheetah, and then we'll see who's next. When you fight the Cheetah, you turn down the Jones fight at two. Yeah. I'm trying to think which one to turn it down. Tonight he puts it in safety, so in some some way you know you say, well, you know, what is his, you know. Is it would have to look great against Yeah. Kev? 
I don't disagree with you, my friend. Dana. I don't disagree with you. When's the last time you talked to Gina? Uh, on Twitter? Yesterday. Uh, what about? Person, 10 fights ago. I don't, last, the last UFC fight she was at. Gina's, Gina's a movie star, man. Gina's, Gina's out making movies. She's, you know, she went on and she's doing movies and she's doing good things. I like that. You know, I, I like to see that happen. Um, if Gina came back and said she wanted to fight again, we take her back. Did you pursue that now? I'm not going to pursue her. No. No. She, she's got her thing, man. I'm happy for her. Good for her. Has she told you that she's thought about it? Without she hasn't told me, but I've heard that she said that she would be interested in coming back. And I'm not going to push her. I like her being a movie star. That's pretty cool. But if she wants to come back, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to her either. Do you think that would be the biggest women's fight ever? Her versus Ronda? Um, yeah, probably be a big fight. Yeah, that'd be a big one. Would you give her an immediate title shot? I don't know. She's been out for a while. I don't know if she would want an immediate title shot. When you take that long off, you know, you want to come back and get a fight. Or make 135. Yeah. You couldn't make 145. No. No, she was missing 45. I'm saying that. If Jones beat someone in an April, would you focus on trying to meet Jones Silva? Or are you going to try to focus on setting up the Yoda or, you know, from Jones? Good question, my friend. I don't know. <laughs> another fight coming for Sweden. They've been wondering over there if you've got a new co co main coming. Dude, this is all I've been. Dude, I'm telling you, I work my ass off this week. We've been going since 5:45 every day. This, this week was brutal. Man. This was one of the craziest weeks in the history of this company. It was crazy. You talked about it being the highest women's pay-per-view of all time, but how about just in terms of UFC? Where does it rank against other UFC events? Is it average, above average? It did very well. Look again, these are all trending numbers, looking good. Um, but, uh, yeah, we knew, we knew Friday. No, what was the press conference? Thursday. We knew Thursday that this thing was bigger than anything any woman had ever done before. Right. We knew that Thursday. But you're on a little bit different scale than 125,000 pay-per-views, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, so, so you're saying it's a little unfair? I, well, I think it's an unfair comparison because you guys are beyond that. So where would you put, you know, put it up against? Well, in, I'll tell you this. Dave Meltzer's here. I don't have any answers. We've had a couple of fights that have, that, that have done some, you know, scary numbers right. can, for us, you know what I mean? And, and everybody talked all this shit on this thing. wasn't going to deliver and wasn't going to do anything. So I think it's fair to say that, that these women did, did do it. You know what I mean? You know, what do you think of the Brendan Schaub fight? The Brendan Schaub? Well, we put hundred guys in the car, not every fight's gonna you know, That's not the fight I expected. Not the fight I expected. Schaub has been knocked out a couple times too, and he's in there with a big puncher. You know, he ain't running there with his chin out. What happens to LeVar now? Um, I don't know. Dana, you mentioned the other day with Rogan that uh, you guys are getting closer to New York with the uh, with the um, legis uh, legislation can't speak right now. Anyways, my question is, is there any sort of time frame, like a, a month that you guys have in mind where this might happen? We do. Yeah. Could you? <laughs> yeah, we're looking, we're feeling pretty good about New York. Really good. Third quarter, fourth Third quarter? quarter. I, yeah, I just don't want to talk about it. Talking about it doesn't, doesn't bring any, right. you know. But you're, I'm you, just feeling really good about because it. Because why? Are you, are you working for legislation though first? Or, or are you going to go in without legislation? Tricky. You know, I, I don't want to answer any of these questions. It's not worth it. Let's not fuck this thing up. You know what I mean? Let's just let this thing happen. Let the lawyers deal with this. I'll end up saying some shit that'll piss somebody off. And, you, you know. Yeah. Exactly. We'll have to wait a fucking year. If I say something stupid here, let's just not even answer this question. She's the champion, man. Yeah. She's the champion. She, but, you know, it depends on if we have two title fights. Obviously, no matter what title fight we have, she's going to be light. You know, so she'd be the main event. But we did one. Yeah. yeah, oops, I'm sorry. She would be the main event. Yeah, if there's another title. David, did you read the New York Times story about the executive war? I don't know. I cruised through it. I didn't really read it. I, I think it was uh, I think it was very Viacom friendly. What'd you think? Honestly, 
I did if you knew all the interviews that were really that were really done for that thing and the people they talked to and stuff. It was very uh, very Viacom happy. Was, was the number that they, they used as far as the Viacom tape for Dark Lord that would be heard? I have no clue if that's true or not. If that is true, holy shit. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. But the thing you have to understand is there were a bunch of people, there were, there were a lot of investors in that company. A lot of investors. A lot of guys invested a lot of money in that. And uh, they all got paid back. Aside from having fights for just the other two women that are fighting in the next go around with uh, Mitch Tate and Kat Singana, you talk about building that weight class up and star power. What do you do outside of just having women win to build these fighters' brands? You have great prime times leading up in this fight. What do you do for them? Anything special? Yeah, well, the prime time is are for select fights. You know what I mean? We only get so many a year. We only have so many a year that we can do um, if we want to get the right distribution for it. And that show is fucking expensive, really expensive. So uh, we do countdown shows. You know, we do a pretty good job of getting out there and, and, and letting people know who, who, who the fighters are. When we put together a good piece on somebody. The biggest, most important part is that they go out and deliver on the fights. You know what I mean? And what was cool is, I think, hands down, this one was one of the best prime times ever done. Top two. You know, because I really love BJ and St. Pierre too. That one that we did on BJ and St. Pierre. Um, and then when you go out and deliver that the way that they did, like the world was watching tonight. Fucking Sports Center kept tweeting this thing all night. They got like 7 million followers. They've never tweeted anything about the UFC ever. You know, so tonight was a, was a big night. Do you think that. Do you think some of this, as far as brand building, I mean, even, you know, just forget about this show, that the UFC brand was built, and, you know, or, you know, I mean, you're strong already, but it, maybe it helped you in some circles, you know, just having this fight and having this kind of exposure I in do. different places. I do, and I do, I really do, and, and the thing that, that was really shocking to me was the hardcore fans, the, their response to it was disgusting, number one. Number two, the, the uh... The fans, I mean, the, the media's response to it was awesome. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the mainstream. There wasn't one bad story. No freak show. No, no, you know what I mean? And these prominent media sources, the front page of the LA Times, the front page of, of, of USA Today, uh, CNN on their website, the front page yesterday, um, HBO Sports, you know, all these different... Uh, outlets that would never cover us before or would never give us that type of placement. It, it was awesome, man. It, I, I just, it, it was a really cool moment for me to see the way that the media handled this fight. And, and I always felt like, you know, Rhonda, because of her, you know, where she came from and, and who she is, it really was cool. And the media agrees and they, and they covered it. I, I just love it, man. I, I can't tell you how much I really respect the way the media covered this fight. It's really cool. We did see Stitch and House again tonight. And last week you kind of just said they were they were babies and all that, but we thought maybe they'd be back tonight. You know what I don't like? I don't like, I don't like, I told you guys the other night. Yeah, I guess I'm not putting in the 18. It's just bullshit, man. Bullshit. I don't like it. Everybody who works here is the 18. You know, there's a lot of cut men out there that are great cut men. Those guys are friends of mine that I've known for years since the boxing days. I brought them in, and, you know. They, they lost their minds a little bit. You know, you don't, you don't do that stuff. You're severing ties? Yeah, it's no, we're not severing ties. It's just it's disrespectful to all the other people. Okay, okay. It's great you think you're the best. Okay. You think you're the 18. You know? I told them. I don't even know what the fuck that means. It means people in trouble. They call you guys. guys were military guys. And they come in and you protect. You know? What the fuck does the 18? I don't like it. And, uh, you know, you got a lot of people that don't here. A lot of people that do a lot of good things. Nobody runs around here calling themselves the A-team, you know? Dana, did you show the air with uh, the SDS's lawyer yeah. about the whole, so is it, are they on the same page now? I think so. How'd you know we talked? 
He told me. Yeah. What did he say? He said, I, I spoke to Dana. What did he say? He said, said stop instigating. And he said, uh, the air, you're accepting to it. He, he said that I said what? And he told me to stop. Instigating? Yes, and okay. he said, you were receptive to what he had to say. I was receptive? Yes. I, and that is not a direct quote, but he was happy with the conversation. Cool. And I'm happy he was happy with that conversation. Are you not happy with it? Yeah. And I'm even happier that he was happy with that conversation. Well, what was the conversation? Why do you care? <laughs> You're an instigator. <laughs> what do you think that conversation was like? How, how long have you known me? Who reached out to who? Huh? Who reached out to who? Who reached out to me? One line, is he or is he not doing the thing? He did it, yeah. He did it. I don't know. Is Craig here? Craig's never here anymore. Hey, hit Craig and ask him if Nate did his Nate did what he was supposed to do. Nick did. Nick ended up doing it. There, there was some somebody came out and said that he didn't show up for a fourth interview, which isn't true. There was the three that I talked to you guys after, and then you know, and I and I, I wasn't happy about his lawyer's supposed comments um, that it wasn't true and all this other stuff. So we talked two nights ago or something, and. Uh, well, how can it be? I mean, he is or he isn't. I mean, it was like, you know, how can it be? He did show up radio show. He did not. Right. And so, and that's a fact. He did not. Neither did his brother Nate. And we spent fifty thousand dollars, over fifty thousand dollars, on production costs. And guys cruising around in Stockton, California, and, not, and uh, it's not fun. It's not funny. Listen, I, we're, 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 we're very cool and very lenient in a lot of ways. We look at this company. We know how we are. You know, we're, we're lenient with a lot of things. We, we, we let a lot of things fly, but that's just absolute bullshit, you know? Um, you know, the Diaz brothers missed a few flights here and there. Da, da, da. It's, just, it, it's, it's not cool, man. It's not cool. We've treated, we've treated Nate and Nick with respect. You know, treated them the way they Any time they come in, they want to negotiate the contracts. We do the things. You know, we're, we're good to everybody. You know, at least give us the respect to show up and not blow fifty grand on not showing up for interviews that you're supposed to do. And then for Caesar to go out and tweet what he tweeted, and I talked to Caesar about it too. You know, um, but. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> How, you know, where is it going to be before you do what you did on 37? I, I hope we don't come. You, you have to think about it. You have to be prepared now that you know we've done Can you tell I'm close? <laughs> I'm close, man. I'm really close. And I don't want to be. I don't, I don't want to do this. This is, this, you know, it, it, it sucks. None of this is easy. These two girls work their asses off this weekend. And I know what it feels, I've been doing it too, I did it all week, I know. It's not fun, it's not the great, it's part of the job. It's part of the job. And all the fans are like, shut up Dana, just let Nick fight. You shut up, Dana. This is, this is how it works, okay? This is, this is the job, this is what we do, okay? Go to your fucking job and tell your boss, yeah, well I don't want to do this or do that. It's not how it works, it's part of the job. You know, I've shown the Diaz brothers a ton of respect. They can show some respect. Yeah. How was the conversation with Caesar? What? How was the conversation with Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> we had a conversation. If you had to pull the like, No conversations are fun. <laughs> 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 Caesar, what's happening? Did you upgrade him? Huh? Did you upgrade him? I'm sorry, if you had to pull Nick from that fight, who would you put in his place if you had to conduct that choice? Well, you know, we got that whole tournament going on up there. I don't know. I don't even want to, I hope I don't even have to think about that. It's the last thing on earth I want to do. Is there any update on Jeremy Stevens? What he's saying? Jeremy Stevens? Yeah, with his, uh, his court case. I don't know. Last I heard from him, everything was going great. So I don't know. I thought you were going to ask me if I talked to somebody else. <laughs> well, have you talked to Jeremy Seale? I have not. I don't know. Have you talked to anybody else around the DS? Call the union. I bet they know how this case is going. <laughs>
Brendan Shaw fought really fought. We got a fear of being cut. Preserve a victory. I don't think so. I think that he's been clipped the last couple times he fought. And when you're going against a guy like LeVar Johnson, the one thing you know that he's got is punching power and can knock you out. And I, I guarantee you that was their game plan going in. Let's take this guy down. I'm sure they hope they did more damage on the ground than they did. It didn't work out that way. You know how many times I wanted to cut a guy after wins? A lot. But I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we'd ever do that when we start cutting guys after wins. Might want to. Be happy for you. Yeah, I'm so happy for him, man. Another guy that I go way back with. Way, way back with. Yep. I'm talking. Look, I go back 1996 when he was 97. Yeah. He was boxing. Him, I don't know if you remember his, uh, his stepbrother, was a heavyweight, right? He actually works in the comms now. He's a security guard over there, yeah. And, and their dad, his stepdad, the heavyweight's real dad, um, used to train them. He was the nicest guy in the world. We all used to be at Golden Gloves together. Is there any, uh, could, could you even kind of like rank where this night stands as far as when you look back? Because, you know, historically, when you look back at all the stuff you've done, this is going to end up, you know, 20 years from now being a pretty key night. Yeah. Um, this was a big night for women. It was a big weekend for women in sports. Danica Patrick tomorrow, too. And uh, I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm just happy with the way everything went. I'm happy with, uh, I, I just, I couldn't say enough good things. It's been exhausting. This was an exhausting one. This one, this one whooped my ass, but it, it was fun. I was really excited about tonight. I couldn't wait for tonight's fight. And then when the fight happened, she had her back. She got the choke. She got out of the choke. And they got the crowd. It was just it was such a great fight. It was such a great way to end the night. For me, it's just price. The fight was just fully awesome. totally insane. Are you putting that up there as an early fight of the year candidate? Awesome. Yeah, it should be. I think you guys are the ones that decide the fight of the year. So yeah. That one should be. Yeah, it was awesome. Dana, you we had some great fights in the card tonight. There some really good ones. You're excited about the return of Ronda Rousey and matching up with Costco? Yeah. Is that the type I of love that. That was what I expected. The other thing, the, uh, I'm glad you asked me that, dude. I'm glad you asked me that. The people were booing at the beginning of that fight. Now listen. None of us, Robbie Lawler, Josh Koscheck. None of us like the up against the fence bullshit, right? Standing there, those dudes were working. If you know wrestling and you know this sport, that was a war. That was a wrestling war between those two. That was fun. I like that fight. And I like that fight going into this fight. And Robbie made a statement, right? Yeah, he did. He did. The other thing about Lawler too, I don't know if you guys noticed at the press conference, they said, you know, I grew up while I was gone. I love being here now, and I'm ready to. I'm ready to do this now. Plus, he looks good at 170 mm -hmm. pounds, way better than he looks at 185. He looks slow and lethargic and out of shape, and like he didn't give a shit at 185. He looks like the old Robbie Lawler at 170 pounds. Again, proving that Strikeforce had good fighters. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Strikeforce had hungry fighters, man. These fucking guys are hungry. They, most of them fought in a year. They didn't know what was going on with their career. You know, couldn't pay their bills, all this shit. Now they're in here. They know what it was like to be in that. They're hungry, man. I love it. I love it. The Strike Four kids are going to raise the bar on all these other guys. How much do you like that Rock Hold Belfort matchup? I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah it's going to be fun. Do you think it was fitting that Big John was the rest in the main event? Considering his, his, his history? Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Do you think it's time that he and Keith Kaiser figure this out? Figure what out? Well, he's still not welcome back. That has nothing to do with me. But with all the issues, I mean... It, I don't even know what the issues are. He criticized Keith and he did apply three years ago. And he said that there's no room for him right now. But with some of the judges <laughs> and refs that you see in the... I'm rest, not getting involved with that, man. That's up to that. <laughs> You know what I mean? There's fights in California too, John can work California. You can't fight heads with the commission, man. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Nick did everything that he was supposed to do, they're done. And, and Nate starts shooting soon. 
So Nick is in the clear then because Nate he's Nick has done everything he's supposed to do. Now Nate's the one. He's supposed to start shooting soon. So um, I'm very confident that he will do the shoot and everything will be great. And we will all be a big happy family. <laughs> Just so we know, Nick, since he's done what he has to do, if Nate says, fuck you, Dana, I'm not doing it, that's a fact Nick won't play. No? He did it. He did it. He did it. That's all I'm asking. Do your interviews. Plus, he's made 50 grand already. And your manager has the balls to go on Twitter and say to upgrade tickets. You know what I mean? It's just rinky dink. Dana, is uh, Anderson going to fight Chris Weidman? Hmm? Is Anderson going to fight Chris Weidman? Yeah, that's, that's the, the next fight you want to do. Yeah. yeah. You think it's going to be July 4th? It's not done yet, though. Do you think it's going to be July 4th, or is it too early to say that? Is what? Do you think it's going to be July 4th weekend, or is it too early to say that? that that's, the, that's the weekend one. Are you looking at doing like a really big show that that, that weekend? If you... <laughs> yeah, as long as everybody stays healthy, we're going to have some kick-ass shows this year. And everybody has been so far, knock on wood. Do you know any um, update as far as uh, Rory McDonald, as far as how, you know, how badly hurt he is, or how long he'll be out? I don't. I literally don't know anything about it. I need to find out. Mentioning Anderson, have you had a chance to check out his new gym? I haven't. I haven't seen his gym yet. Yeah. It's pretty it's amazing. Still yesterday, right? Yeah, he had the grand opening party last night. Oh, it? It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They, Nike, Nike hooked him up. Yeah. It's, Did it's, they really? Oh, yeah. It, it's also what's, hooked. What's crazy is it's in Torrance. We have a gym in Torrance. <laughs> he has a gym in Torrance. <laughs> right. And the Gracies have a gym in Torrance, right? Yeah. yeah. People are getting fucking trained in Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> how many, I mean, how many gyms can you have in one city? Crazy. Well, this one's right off Crenshaw, so you can you know wander out and test your skills, I guess. <laughs> 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 All right. You guys done with me? Thank you. Hey, thank you, you guys so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Ah, you guys